Okay, so we're here again with Aura. Lovely Aura. We're going to have a, a good shoulder stretch, lateral stretch of the collarbones, the clavicles. And she's just got a little bit of padding on the knees there. And she's just using some socks. Okay, so you have to like see what you've got available at camp or um, maybe in the um, mess room there might be a couple of, of uh, chairs that you can wrap those around but she's just using you know socks anything you can find that you can pull onto some rags okay so the the things you to watch out for is that your one you can feel the stretch happening in the shoulders leaning forward gently into the hips yep if you feel like you need to squeeze the buttocks muscles to help support the back then fine but you will find that they'll contract anyway but if you want to do it more that's not going to harm the, the pose of supporting your upper torso and the arms so leaning forward again i want to see as far as you can come with the stretch through the arms toes are tucked up so you can give the toes a good stretch from being out of the boots. How does that feel, Laura? Good. Shoulders and chest. Yeah, that's excellent. So you just have to um, watch it. Don't let the shoulder shoulder pop up. Yep, that's it. Up and down. So the shoulder blades will actually descend, but come around slightly towards the armpits. Yep. Okay, so of course you can do this with one arm if you have a sore shoulder one day. Just do one at a time. Cool. Shake your arms out. Where would you put the other arm? Yeah. Or on your hip. So if you're going to do one at a time, I would suggest that you turn your your torso towards me yeah that's it so you're turning away from it that's it really feeling it now you can address any neck issues if you're having any pain or discomfort in the neck you can address it or you know when you find out that oh there's a bit of a tweak there then when you come out of the pose you can do some neck exercises okay that's it